What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Dynamic Height mod, and what this mod does, it allows you to change the limit that the blocks can go in Minecraft. For instance, you can only build, I believe it's 128 blocks high um, normally in Minecraft, but this will allow you to change it to various different settings. So I already have my world up here, and the reason for this is, this makes my computer lag horribly so if you don't have all that great of a computer like me this probably shouldn't uh, be a mod that you should use my computer really can't handle this um, and I don't even have it at the max height so you can see that it also makes the oceans a lot deeper you see some squids way down there and like I said I don't have this at the max height the max height I believe is 2048 2, so let me go ahead and show you how to change the height so if you go into single player you do need to create a new world and if you go into more world options so you can see the max height yes the original is 128 then you go 256 512 1024 and 2048 so the max you can go is 2048 blocks high which would just be a ginormous world and then the lowest you can go is only 32 blocks high which would be pretty flat world so yeah that's pretty much it that I can show you for the mod since my computer can't handle me flying around in the world so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the preview for it here and I need to clean out my Minecraft jar so after I do that I'll be back and show you how to install this mod Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. They all work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then the only thing you're going to need to download is the Dynamic Height mod itself. And to download that, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description. And this page will give you all the information you need to know about the mod. And if you want, you could watch this video right here, and this properly showcases the mod. Um, it shows everything about it. I was not able to do that because like I said my computer can't really handle this mod So if you really want to see what this mod is about watch this video Now to download it do not click on this download link that will bring up an ad and some other weird stuff So just go ahead where it goes client downloads and do version 2.1.5 for Minecraft 1.0 And this should bring us over to another page It's taking a little while to load. There it goes. I don't know why it's being so slow, but it is. Come on, Internet. There it goes. It says bad gateway. Don't need to worry about that. Up in the top right hand corner, it'll make you wait five seconds and you'll see a button that says skip just go ahead and click on skip and it will automatically download the mod so once you have the mod downloaded and you're ready to install it go ahead and come over to start type in percent app data percent and hit enter then go into your dot minecraft then open up your bin then what you want to do is left click your minecraft jar then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using I'm using WinRAR so I'll go ahead and select WinRAR to open it with WinRAR. Drag your Minecraft jar to the side. Now your bin, we don't need this anymore, so we can go ahead and just close this. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up the dynamic height mod. Highlight all these class files and simply drag them into your Minecraft jar. And hit OK. Go ahead and close the dynamic heights mod. Now you should see a folder in your Minecraft jar called MetaInf. If you don't see this, you can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, Go ahead and left click it, then right click it, and do delete files and hit yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You always want to delete MetaInf when you're installing a mod. If you don't, it'll cause Minecraft to crash and have a black screen. So after you delete MetaInf, that's it. You're done. Very, very simple installation for this mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.